I'd like to show you a really useful tool for pulling in live data from a website into a spreadsheet so you can analyze it. So I've got a page here from Wikipedia. It's a list of countries and dependencies by population. And what I'm interested in on this page is this table here, which actually lists all the countries in the world and their population as of a certain date. Um, and what I'd like to do is to graph this because it's just seeing raw numbers like this makes it hard to visualize the relationship between the different countries. So let's try and graph this. Now I could just get my mouse and I could select some of this data and I could just um, copy it and paste it in a spreadsheet and I can try and do it that way. But I'm getting a lot of stuff I don't really need and it, it'll just mess things up. So there's actually a better way. Let me show you what that is. This page has a URL, of course, like every page on the internet. So I'm going to copy that URL and then go over to Google Drive and click the new button here and make a new spreadsheet, a new Google Sheet. In cell A1, I'm going to type a formula equals import HTML. And you can see there's a few different import functions. This is the one I'm interested in, import HTML. And it has three parts to it. It needs a URL, a query, and an index. Well, the URL is the one we just copied from the Wikipedia page. And you do need to put it in quote marks. So I'll go quotation, paste, close quotation. That's the web page I'll pull the data from. The second thing it needs to know is what kind of query. And it can either be a table or a list. Now, pretty clearly, this is a table. If it was a list, I'd use the word list. This is a table, so I'm going to use the word table. And again, you put it in quote marks. Table, close quote. And finally, you need a number, what's called an index, to uh, determine which table it is. Because you can have a web page with multiple tables on it. And they'd be numbered, one, two, three, four, as you go down the page. Uh, this page appears to only have only one table, so it's index number one. So let's go back in here and put number one, and then close the brackets on that. And when I press enter, you can see it's loading, and what it should do is pull in all of that data. That data you're seeing on the, on the spreadsheet there is actually coming in live from the spreadsheet. If this spreadsheet gets an update, which it may at some point, and some of these numbers change, then my spreadsheet will automatically change as well. That's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to tidy this up just a little here. So I might just uh, double click on that line to widen that column. Let's widen this column. And uh, I'm just making the columns wide enough for the content. You can see some of these ones down the bottom get a bit long. So now I'd like to graph this. Now before I graph it, I really need to create a header row. So you can do that a couple of ways. One is to say freeze the rows and have one frozen row. But a much quicker way is simply put your mouse there above the one and drag down and now that freezes that top row. You can see if I scroll now, if I scroll now, you can see that the top row doesn't move. All right, what I'd like to do is to create a graph of the country and its population. That's all I need. So, and I won't do all of them, obviously, there's too many. So let's say do the first 20. So I'll click here in cell B1 and drag down to select down to say there, France at uh, row, row 21 or item number 20. So I'll select that data and then click on this insert chart button and it'll insert a chart. Now, this chart doesn't really tell me much. It's um, not very useful. And one of the things you really need to do with charts is to look at them and say, is this conveying the information that I think it's trying to convey? This one's clearly not. And it's because it's the wrong chart type. It's actually a histogram. What I need is a column chart. So I click column chart and there you go. It's created a fairly useful um, graph chart showing me visually how these countries relate to each other. And sometimes we know intellectually that India and China are big, but it's not until you see them on a chart like this you realize just how big the populations of those countries are. The important thing to remember is that this data that's creating this chart is being brought in automatically using the import HTML function so that when it changes on the actual source document, it'll update in the spreadsheet. And of course, if there's a chart that derives from that spreadsheet, the chart will update as well in real time.